Hi, my name is Amy with the Yogi Pierogi, and today I'm going to lead you through some tips for our headstand, also known as our sarsasana. So with that being said, don't worry about if you can't get the legs up in the air today. That's why you have this video. You can come back to it at any point. Just have fun while trying. So with that being said, I want us to work on the feeling of what we feel from the head to our toes. So with that being said, let's find ourselves in a tabletop position. We're working on scapular push-ups here. So in this tabletop, I want you just to dip your chest down and push the mat away. So don't bend the elbows. We'll find that four more times. Let the chest dip and then push the mat away. Three more. And last one. This time when we push the mat away, I want you to hold. You're pushing the mat away as much as you can. You're broadening the upper back. Hold, hold, hold for five, four. This shouldn't feel easy. Three, two, and one. Go ahead, find yourself kneeling or in a comfortable seat for a second. That action that you felt by pushing, that's the same thing that we should feel when we're on our forms working into our headstand. So you never want to let your chest dip. We always want to push away. Now we're going to explore that with our forms down. So with that being said, when you come down to the tabletop, we'll now bring our forearms down. Something that I do still to this day is you hug opposite elbows here. That's the distance that we want the arms. We don't want them too far out because what happens when they're too far out, they're going to start pinching into the shoulders and that can hurt over time. Okay? So from here, give yourself a little hug. Interlace those fingertips together. And then we're going to let the chest dip and then push the mat away. Same thing, just now on the forearms. Let the chest dip, push the mat away. Three more. For two. Last one. Push the mat away and we hold for five. Keep the forearms down. Four, three, two, one. Good. Go ahead and come back up to the hands. You can find yourself seated again. You might even roll the shoulders back and away a little. Stay here. Now we're going to add another layer. We're going to have the top of our head down. So we never want our chin towards our chest. That's just going to make us tuck and roll. That's going to roll right out. We also don't want the head to be like a bobble head, right? We don't want it to go from side to side. We want our neck very much neutral. We have one, so let's protect it. And headstand will help strengthen the neck as well. But if at any point you do this that you feel sharp pain or anything like that, make sure you come out, listen to your body. So with that being said, I always like to visualize like a tennis ball between my chin and my collarbone. So keeping this very much neutral, we're gonna place the top of the head down and just see how that feels. So first, right, we're feet hip distance apart. We'll find that hug here. So hug opposite elbows, interlace those fingertips and place the top of the head down. Again, don't bring your chin to your chest. Already push them out away with the arms. Now, see how it feels. Curl the toes behind you and just lift the hips up. Hold here, push into your forearms. You might push so much that your head might actually lift off the mat and hold for four, three, two. Keep pushing them out away. One, slowly drop the knees down. Drop the bum down towards the heels. Find a child's pose with the arms forward and gently rock the forehead from side to side. And then we'll bring it back again. So if that felt okay, we're going to add a little bit more. Otherwise, try repeating exactly what we found. So give yourself that hug, interlace those fingertips, top of the head down, no pest container, push into your forearms, curl the toes, lift your knees, and this time walk your feet forward until you can't walk any further. Push the mat away. There's going to be a point that you feel like you're in a topple. That's where you know that you pretty much have it. They'll hold for another four, three, maybe walk a little bit further, two, one. Slowly walk your feet back. Let's drop those knees. Find a child's pose. Arms can come back and again. Gently rock the head from side to side. So this next variation that we're going to do, we're going to hold a little bit longer. Again, you still have the other options that you could explore. Otherwise, we're going to try lifting a leg up high.
So remember, we want to keep a leg straight. If we bend, it's going to just send us forward to fall forward, okay? So again, let's find our checklist. Forearms down. Give yourself that hug, hugging distance apart. Interlace those fingertips. Top of the head down. Push into your forearms before we do anything. Curl your toes. Lift the hips. Walk your feet as far forward as you can. Maybe you lift one leg high towards the sky, but don't send the leg out. You want the toes pointing up towards the sky. Hips even and hold for another five. Keep pushing them out away. Four, three, two. Right leg comes down. Walk it back. Drop those knees down. Find that child's pose. Again, arms might come back. Rock the head gently from side to side. Let's find the other side now. There's one side that's always easier. So, checklist. I'll sound like a broken record, but it'll work for you. Hug opposite elbows. Interlace the fingertips. Top of the hip comes down. Push into your forearms. Curl the toes. Walk your hips forward as far as you can. This time, that left leg won't lift. So high towards the sky. When you push into the mat, you might surprise yourself. That right leg might lift. Don't get scared for four, three, two. Left leg lowers. Bring it on back. Drop those knees. Child's pose. You'll notice when you lift a leg, how it's going to put more pressure into the head. That's when it's really important to push into the forearms. Good. So this next one, we're going to find with the knees and towards the chest. Try to getting that feeling of what it feels like to bear all weight into the head. Okay? So same thing. Forearms come down. Hug opposite elbows. Interlace the fingertips. Top of the head comes down. Forearms again. Push into the ground. Lift your hips up. Walking those feet forward as far as you can. Can you bring one knee in towards the chest? And then maybe the other knee comes in towards the chest. Keep them in for five, four, keep pushing them out away, three, two, maybe the feet come back down, and find a child's pose, gently rocking the head from side to side. So you'll notice through all these variations that we're not kicking up, right? Because all that encourages us is to flip right over without control. So all these movements that we're doing are really taking the time to enjoy the process, to enjoy the journey. So let's see now if we can bring those knees when they're together and towards the chest, if we can lift them up as if they're one, up towards the sky. If we keep those knees in, that's fine as well. So forearms come down. Give yourself that hug. Interlace those fingertips, top of the head down. Curl your toes, lift the hips, and walk those feet forward until you can't walk any further. Bring one knee in towards the chest, other knee in towards the chest, you might say here. Keep those knees glued, maybe you slowly lift the legs straight up. Don't rush them. Once the legs lift as high as they can, engage the glutes, push them out away for five, four, keep pushing them out with the forearms, three, two, Slowly bring those knees back in towards the chest if you can, and bring it back down. Find that child's pose. In any of these variations, give yourself a smile, words of encouragement, thanking yourself for trying. That's all that matters. Headstands can be exhilarating, but it really focuses us to tune in and be present. Great, so that might have been a bit of a surprise for you. So great job in any of these variations that you're doing. This next one, we're gonna try to bring those feet as close as we can and see if both legs can lift straight up. So let's see, let's bring those forearms down. Again, hugging distance apart. Interlace those fingertips, top of the head down. Curl your toes, lift your hips. Let's walk as far forward as you can. Once the hips are over the shoulders, the toes might hover. You'll notice I'm not even hopping. See if the legs can start to lift high towards the sky. Glutes engage, push into the forearms, hold for five, as best as you can. Remember to breathe, four, three, 
two. Let's see if we can slowly bring it on down. As much care and tension that we found coming up. And find your child's pose. Gently rocking that head gently from side to side. Good, and then coming back up to seated. So again, wherever you are in your headstand journey, in your sursasana journey, enjoy the process. Sometimes we get in our head and we feel like we need to find it and we just keep flipping on over, flipping on over, jumping, jumping, jumping. That the second we stop trying so hard, we find it. So again, enjoy the journey and great job. Namaste.